Hello everyone, so today is the day of the Australian Football League or AFL Grand Final. It's the final match of the season, it decides who's the Premiers, who wins that whole competition. Now, the Australian Football League, uh, sometimes just known as football or footy or Aussie rules, as it used to be called, uh, is only really played in Australia. It's not really an international sport. Um, it's the Australian equivalent of gridiron in America or I suppose Gaelic football in Ireland and a few other sports that are only really played in one country. Now, not only that, it's only really played in one part of Australia, which is Victoria, which is where I live. It's focused around Melbourne, uh, also where I live. So it's arguably even more uh, centric, uh, not very diverse than other national codes. I mean, gridiron, for example, is played all around the USA reasonably equally as far as I'm aware. Um, foot, Aussie rules football, as I always call it Aussie rules football, it's it's really only focused in on Victoria. Now, there are other states that play it, and indeed you arguably you have Aussie rules states and then you have rugby states. And the two rugby states are New South Wales and Queensland. And the other four states and two, well, the other four states play Aussie rules. So you have Victoria, Tasmania, South Australia and Western Australia all prefer Aussie rules. And <clears throat> then you have Northern, oh you have ACT, Australia Capital Territory, of course they play rugby. And then the last one is the Northern Territory and they're not, not quite sure. They kind of play a bit of both. Um, probably fairly equally actually. So yeah, that, that's how we're split. And of course Australia plays, so Aussie rules football, we have rugby, sometimes people in rugby states call that football as well. And we also don't mind soccer, we're nowhere near as passionate about soccer as people in most of Europe and South America are, or even Africa, but we do, don't mind soccer. Um, it's not our, it's probably our fourth favourite sport, maybe, and maybe even not even that. And then you have cricket. And cricket is actually our number one sport overall. But no state has cricket as their preferred sport. Curious. Um, it's always number two. So in the Aussie rules states, you have Aussie rules, then cricket, then rugby. And in the rugby states, you have rugby, then cricket, then Aussie rules, or something else. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so, so that's Aussie rules for people outside of Australia. Now, um, it is, of course, it is a football code, but we use our hands as well, so it's more like rugby. Um, and yeah, it's not that far removed from rugby. It's it's not quite as violent. Um, some people call it aerial ping pong. That's what the rugby people say. Now, of course, we've had so 2019 was our last normal season. Then you know that worldwide situation happened. Uh, 2020, we started off quite normally and then we had like two or three months of no play at all and then they had to change things and things went all, all sorts of weird things playing in different states and having 15 minute quarters and all sorts of things and so 2020 was a bit of a random season I still think the right team won that was Richmond but it came about in a rather weird way 2021 last year we knew from the start it was going to be weird and we planned a lot better um, and I'm not convinced that Melbourne, who were the Premiers, deserved to win. No offence to Melbourne, but it was a bit too random for me. Good on Melbourne for getting there, and look, they did well this year as well, finishing second after the home and away, um, but then they failed to even make it to the preliminaries, let alone to win their grand final again. Um, yeah, and then this year, I was expecting to be another weird year. I was quite sick of the last two years. And this year's been quite normal. They've played all their rounds. There's been no major interruptions. Been a few little ones, but nothing particular major. And we're left with Geelong, who finished top of the ladder, against Sydney, who finished third. Now, Melbourne, who finished second, didn't quite make it. In fact, Sydney very nearly missed out um, in the preliminary final. I think they won by point against Collingwood. I think arguably it probably should have been Geelong and Collingwood in the grand final. Um, I think Sydney's very lucky, but then Richmond were really robbed by a bad decision as well um, to miss out 
against Brisbane in their first match. Um, and then <clears throat> Brisbane, who did, who did Brisbane beat? Oh, I think Brisbane lost to Collingwood just narrowly and then, yeah. So there's been a few matches that could have gone either way, but Sydney's the team that sort of you, has a bit of a question mark as to whether they should be there. Geelong doesn't. Geelong's absolutely there. Uh, but they haven't been completely dominant all season because it's been very close, but they're probably there a lot more legitimately than Sydney. No offence to Sydney, but they've had a bit of luck to get there. Um, and I mean, Sydney, the thing is, how we sort of perceive it is that anybody in Melbourne goes to Geelong in this, we're sort of, we have to, and anybody outside of Melbourne goes to Sydney. So whether you're in which, whichever part of the country, if you're following this final, you're going for Sydney, if you're not in Victoria at least. And the interesting thing is Geelong is not part of Melbourne. Geelong is about 100 kilometres away from Melbourne, it's still in Victoria, but it's quite a long way away. So people in Melbourne normally would think, oh, well, Geelong's a different city. But this is just the way it goes. So it is played at the MCG, so you'd think that Geelong would have an advantage, although Geelong don't always play at the MCG. They play at their own ground in Geelong. Different city, 100 kilometres away. Um, Sydney are actually pretty good away from home. And the Sydney Swans, well, at one stage, they result as a merger from South Melbourne Bloods. So they're actually kind of a Melbourne team anyway, sort of. Um, I think it was 1982 that they they changed home grounds from South Melbourne to Sydney, and a fair bit of difference, except for they start with an S still. So there are Melbourne supporters of Sydney. Sydney do play pretty well away from home. Uh, they're not completely out of it just because it's being played in Melbourne, and this is the first time for three years that we've had a grand final in Melbourne. I mean, it always been in Melbourne. But 2019, the last time we played, 2020 and 2021 we played in other states. I think it was Adelaide and then Perth, if I remember correctly. Or was it Brisbane and Perth, maybe? Anyway, it wasn't Melbourne. And, um, yeah, it's it's quite interesting to go back there. And I've, a lot of people are quite excited. This is the first normal grand final since 2019. And I think it's quite symbolic. So a lot of people during this this period all around the world have been looking to things like sport and entertainment, music, um, whether movies, TV shows, to sort of ease them. And of course a lot of the sports, a lot of the movies, a lot of the TV shows, a lot of the music has shut down as well. Um, and it's been quite important I think to get that back up because it makes people feel happier. Now not everybody likes sport. If you don't like sport, fair enough. If you don't like this sport, fair enough. But the whole purpose of sport is, I mean, as a spectator, is to make you happier. I know some people get angry watching it, but the aim of it is to make you happier. And it is quite a bit of an event, especially here in Victoria. Um, we didn't have a, few, have a few drinks and some junk food and sit around the TV. And there, there are pubs that go to places. Uh, I, I, there's one place down the road, or not down the road, but in the city. They're having $70 all you can eat and drink a bottomless pit thing and you can only get beer and, and basic um, I don't even think you can get spirits you can just get beer and, and coke and lemonade and stuff like that but they let you have as much as you want for $70 it's not that bad a deal um, but I mean I don't know anyone so I'd have I'd want to go with someone if I wanted to do that um, but so I'm just gonna stay at home I'm just going to the shops now and get some stuff so who do you th I think should win I think Geelong should win. Um, I think it should be reasonably one-sided, really. There is a chance for Sydney, um, but it's not a very big chance. Now, obviously Sydney still finished third, but the away from home thing, and then the fact that they were very lucky to get over the line against Melbourne, and then more recently against Collingwood, especially Collingwood, goodness, if Collingwood, I think they'd be kicking themselves for leaving their run a bit late and then losing by one point, oh my goodness. So. I think, but you know, I can't write Sydney off. I mean, they, they'll be going there going, no, we can win, absolutely. And you know, they'll have the whole country behind them. They'll have people in Brisbane, in Perth, in South Australia, in Tasmania, they'll all be going, oh yeah, go Sydney. And Geelong has maybe people in Melbourne, but then we might be following our own clubs. 
Um, and Geelong isn't actually in Melbourne, it's in Geelong. It's a different city. So, but I, I do think Geelong are, are a better chance. Um, they have a lot more superstars and uh, they have a lot more cover. So if someone gets neutralised, doesn't do very well, they still have a lot more backup. Um, they've both been pretty good sides in the last 20 years or so. I think there's two premierships for Sydney and three for Geelong. But look, I do think it'll be Geelong. Um, I'd probably say by about 30 points. Maybe, yeah, about that, about that margin, about five goals. Not massive, but I think it'll be pretty sizable. Anyway, that's it from me. Bye-bye.